Hello. Here we are given a situation and we need to write a function in function notation to represent the situation. And the problem here is, the situation here is, a phone company charges $1.20 per month and gives 150 free minutes. For usage above 150 minutes and up to 300 minutes, the company charges 20 cents per minute. The cost for usage above 300 minutes is 30 cents per minute. Write a function using function notation for the given situation. Okay, so, so let's try to understand the problem. So there is a flat rate of $20 if 150 minutes are used for the calls. Okay, so we can say let the function be represented by f of x. In that case, if the the company charges $1.20, so let's say the value is just $20, so flat rate if the usage is up to 150 minutes. Correct? That means n, let's say x is the number of minutes here, so x is less than or equal to 150, correct? So if x is less than or equal to 150 minutes, uh, then the company charge is $20. Well, it makes sense, correct? So three pieces, so let me draw like this. This means three different pieces, okay? Now the second piece is, for usage above 150 minutes and up to 30, that means from 150, to, so x is between 150 to 300, right? So that is the value. And we'll include 300 here. Okay, so above 150. If it is 150, $20 is the rate, okay? Then it charges 20 cents per minute, okay? So for 150, the company charged $20. So $20 was for 150. In addition to that, if you go to 150 one minute, it will be 20 cents more, right? More the minutes, more 20 cents. So, if there are x minutes more than 150, then there will be 20 cents more. So, we will write this as 20 cents and how much more than 150? That is x minus 150. So, so that is the condition, right? So, it is $20 plus 20 cents more for every minute over 150. Do you see that? So that is when x is greater than 150 but less than 300 minutes. Okay. Now if it is more than 300 minutes, then the company charges 30 cents per minute. So if it is more than 300, so we we'll say 300 and x is more than 300, right? Uh, so there is no upper bound here. but anything more. So it charges 30 cents. So it is charging 30 cents for everything more than 300. So it will be x minus 300, right? That is what it charges. But how much will it charge for 300? So let's put 300 here to calculate how much will it charge for 300 so that we know what should be here, correct? So let me calculate this on the side. So for 300 minutes, this will give me We'll do it here, uh, 20 plus 0 0.20 times 300 minus 150, correct? Which is 150, so it's 20 plus 0 0.20 times 150, correct? So which is 20 plus 0 0.2 times, so $30, right? Correct, so 20 plus 30 is 50. Correct. So this is fifty dollars. So we'll write here fifty. So it'd be fifty plus thirty cents over three hundred. I hope you understand how I'm developing this equation. Now let's go through the problem once again. It's kind of tricky, and I've seen students struggling to solve this problem. Right? They will normally not add these amounts. Right? They will straight away write twenty cents over x. Sometimes I've seen. 20.2x 
and 0.3x. And then when we tell them to find what will be the charge for usage of around, uh, let's say, 250 minutes, it becomes very difficult for them to get the answer because the equation is wrong. <laughs> so how can they get the right answer, okay? So this is a very tricky problem. That's the reason why I've taken it here. And let's go through the question once again to understand how it is being developed. A phone company charges $20 per month and gives 150 free minutes. That is 150 minutes and $20 cost. Perfect. It matches. For usage above 150 minutes and up to 300 minutes, the company charges 20 cents per minute. So that means in this range, charges will be 20 cents, but below this will be $20. So 20 plus 20 cents of anything over 150, right? Now, the cost for usage above 300 minutes is 30 per minute. So, in the same fashion, we developed the equation for cost of usage above 300 minutes. So, above 300 minutes means x minus 300, right? But what about paying for first 300 minutes? Well, we get it from here. If it is up to 300, this is the equation we describe. So we just plug in 300 here, did our calculation on the side, and we found out that it should be uh, $50. So we added 50 to it. So that is how we get our equation, right? Now, if I ask that, find the cost if the usage is, let's just say, if the usage is, let us say, 200 minutes, okay? So, what is the cost? So, for 200 minutes, what will you do? For 200 minutes, we have to use this equation, right? So, we say f of 200 is equal to 20 plus 0 0.20 200 minus 150, correct? So, this is the cost. And we are going to use this equation, right? Which, from where you can calculate the answer, which will be 20 plus 0 0.2 and 200 minus 150 is 50, right? And which is 20 plus 0.2, that means times 10 is 2, and then times you get $10, so which is $30, correct? So this is the cost which you are going to pay or the company is going to charge for the usage of 200 minutes. Now, if I ask, what is the usage for 400 minutes? Is it double of this? No, it is not. We just can't double it. We have to use this piece of the function, right? For 400, it should be 50 plus 0 0.30 times 400 minus 300. Do you get it? And then you have to calculate the cost from here. So it is 50 plus and 400 times minus 300 is 100, 100 times. 30, right, will give you 30, 0 0.30 will give you 30, right, so this comes to $80, so the cost you have to write answer is in dollars, so this reads $30 here, and this gives you $80, is it okay, it is not doubled, you see, it is much higher than double, and the reason being that the rate is 30 cents, not 20 cents for every call, for the 100 calls you made, or 100 minutes, you used over 300, right? So on that, you paid 10 cents extra than what you were paying uh, for, you know, the, those 50 calls over 150. Do you understand? So that is why uh, we need to understand how to use the piecewise function properly, right? So if we are asking for something 200-like, which is within this range, domain, I should say, we have to use this part of the function. But if I'm asking for something, which is in this domain, then I have to use that part of the function. Okay, I hope you understand. And if I say, well, how much are the charges for usage for about 100 minutes? The answer is 20, because for anything less than or equal to 150, a flat rate of 20 is being charged. I hope you understand. And there could be many similar uh, problems uh, uh, where we could have three different pieces, okay, or, or more or less different pieces, right? But this gives you a background and a good base and foundation to develop a piecewise function for a given situation. Okay? Thank you.